Hi guys! Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Scorpio and Leo. I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. Let's take a look and see what's going on. All right, I'm going to pull that down just a tad, tad, tad so you can actually see the pictures. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice. I apologize ahead of time for all the uh, sniffles or whatever's in between here. Okay. I got a minute. And I don't think this is very complicated to understand, but I'm going to break down each energy, right? Scorpio. We have the Five of Pentacles reversed here. It seems like you might be worried about, or you were worried about, finances, security. Finances, security. It seems like you're leaning on spirituality to give you a boost because you're coming out of this energy where you feel like, I'm lacking, I don't have anything. All right, so there's a big focus on spirituality, right? You're also being advised, Scorpio, that whatever it is, you need to keep faith about something. We know that. Mm, okay. Um, it looks like you might be, I don't know if, I don't know if you, I don't know if you guys know each other already, Scorpio and Leo, because I feel like I'm talking to two different couples here. I feel like I'm talking to, hmm, I feel like I'm talking to, one, there's a group of you who have not met yet. And then there's some of you who are very new to each other. So it's like a learning thing. I'm not sure if I want to do this. This is what I've been through before. All right. So Scorpio's finding it very difficult to open up. Right. That's going to turn around. But I still feel like Scorpio is reserved when it comes to certain things because there's going to be some kind of delays in security. I feel like this is new. There are delays in security and it's based on something that could have happened. Some kind of interaction, I believe, from the past. I don't believe this is from this existing connection. It could be <clears throat> for the couples who are together. But for the most part, I kind of feel like I'm talking to two single Scorpios and two single Leos. So even this relationship reading may not be for everybody. I will I will sum it up where I can if it details something about a couple. I think if you guys been have been together, I do feel like there could be reconciliation. I'll leave it there I'll give it to that when I need to but I feel like your spirituality Scorpio is giving you a boost on something all right you're noticing that there are some dynamics in this relationship that you are not used to like I'm not used to this I'm not used to being this vulnerable I can't open up like that so I feel like there's something there you're starting to listen to your heart a little bit so you can kind of loosen up all right and not feel this pressure there's something about you and security and feeling like if I trust this Leo if I get myself back into that situation I feel like Scorpio's like something has got to be fine-tuned in terms of how much I'm gonna actually give if I if I decide to give to this all right I feel like Scorpio came out of a situation where there was at some point love right but there was some kind of interruption it could have been a disconnect between you and somebody else I believe in the past or it could have been uh, family members who were maybe interrupting something that caused some kind of friction, right? But I do see where there's a possibility that Scorpio's looking to renew something with somebody. So you guys could have broke up, all right? So this is why if I, this story is just, it's, to me, it's kind of like there's so many different pieces to it. But I do feel like this is newer, like very new. Okay, so I do see the sun reversed here, all right? Now, if this is an existing relationship, you know, there's going to be some... Hmm. there's going to be some common ground. All right. So you're going to enter a new phase in an existing relationship where there is common ground or, <clears throat> sorry about this guys. If you are new to each other, and this is very new, you're going to be able to have a communication that you have not had in relationships past, if that makes any sense. All right. So this will be a very new journey and adventure for you. Now, I do see here, Leo, let's take a look at your energy. Leo, I feel really, this one is, ugh. A romantic connection, all right, is already here. So I feel like you might be involved. Just listen, new couple, guys, whatever. New or existing. Take your help, resonates. All right, so I feel like there's some soulmate that's in your life. And I believe you feel like you're Scorpio. Scorpio is your soulmate, right? But if we really look at this card, this talks about some situation that just became, well, it was good, 
and I believe Leo was in love with somebody, but I believe there may have been an interruption of some sort of an air sign. And I say that because this whole row is all swords, right? So I feel like Leo may have been intertwined or had some kind of love relationship that was a deep, passionate relationship, all right, in tandem with somebody who could have been an air sign. But I feel like ultimately what happened was somebody cheated or whatever happened here. There was some kind of heartbreak that the feelings are starting to pass now. So Leo's like, am I really feeling, can I, can I go through with something new? Can I be vulnerable? It's kind of like the same feeling that Scorpio has. Can I be vulnerable? The funny thing is, I think you guys, I think you might, I think you might be able to do that. We do see here the Page of Swords. This talks about giving Leo some kind of vision about who this partner is and what they have to offer. Because I feel like in this scenario, Leo's the one that really needs to be convinced. Like, I need to know more. All right. I have my heart broken by somebody who is an air sign. It could have been a Gemini. All right. And at this point, I'm just trying to figure out how can I avoid this pain again in my life. All right. So it says something here about Gemini doing this to you i'm gonna say it's a gemini because it's the lovers and then these are all sorts so really it could be any air sign okay but i feel like i feel like something was done to gemini that makes them not really trust getting into this relationship i don't know how deep i want to get i'm not sure how deep i want to get i'm just coming out of heartbreak but i feel like they require a little bit more detail to kind of believe what's being sold to them if that makes any sense so i guess what i want to tell you is this person who you're interested in who is a scorpio could be very curious they could be inquisitive all right they could be younger than you but they could also be older than you with a very young mentality all right so i just wanted to point that out too now for existing relationships you're going to see some kind of lightheartedness come back into this connection I do see, and I kind of stand on the fact, because the common energy here is like, it's like new love, all right? Coming into each other's lives to make it better, all right? I feel like you guys are not going to hesitate to have conversations about the things that happened to you, and I feel like that might be um, some of the behaviors practiced by both you guys in the past. Like, you meet somebody new and you never really discuss whatever happened. So, I think what's going to end up happening, Leo, is... I think you're going to be able to open up and Scorpio is going to be able to open up. Let's take a look and see. And that's the common energy. So some kind of stability being granted. Now, remember, in this connection, Scorpio is really scared of, you know, if you want to look at it like real, real, this is five of pentacles. It's reversed, right? So that's moving away from financial difficulties or financial fears that you don't have enough or feeling a lack, right? Um, and it also talks about Scorpio having a problem opening up to a new partner, which leads me to believe this is new. All right, there are some things that suggest existing relationship, but we also have Ace of Pentacles. So even if you're in an existing relationship, you're going to start to see it more infused with, you know, easier, gentler conversations, light conversation, serious conversation that is of love. All right, tell me more about this. What do they need to, well, what's going to happen? I see two people, new love coming into each other's lives. This is a new beginning, new stages of a relationship. Getting to know each other. Oh, I'm not sure that is, um, this is so weird. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bonds deepen. Yeah, you guys are a new couple. Okay, one more. Yeah, I think you guys are going to have some serious conversations. Forgiving and learning. Hmm. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Okay. I feel like by you guys getting to know each other, there's going to be some releasing of feelings. If, like, you're going to be able to say to each other, you know what I went through? I never want to feel like that again. And then your person will be there to say, uh, that's never going to happen to you because I went through that too and I didn't like the way it felt. And these are the measures we can take before we get to this point. I feel like this is going to be a little bit more cohesiveness in this relationship because I think both parties are coming in like, it is what it is. Let's talk about it. Can we deal with it? Did it doubt? Ooh. This situation involves marriage. Uh-huh. One more. <gasps> Ooh. Reconciliation. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. All right. So for some of you guys, existing relationship, maybe you took some time apart. 
maybe Leo was off with a third party in the middle of this relationship. So for some of you guys, this is not even a past. This could be your present if you guys are existing. So you could be coming off of some, some, some sort of heartbreak. Some of you guys could have been married. Some of you guys are forgiven and learning. I do see reconciliation. I feel like there's a message here. So for couples that are new, I feel like you guys are getting to know each other, but you're also forgiving and learning, right? And that's going to be something that will turn around and be upright once you guys start having these conversations about everything that happened to you emotionally or whatever. And I feel like the vulnerability is, I think is going to be some freedom to it that's going to allow you the opportunity to forgive, right? For some of you guys that are existing, I feel like this situation might involve marriage. Maybe some of you guys were married and it went through a rough patch and maybe you're looking to reconcile or thinking about doing it. Hmm. Interesting. Very, 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 very. And getting to know each other, wedding, the situation involves marriage. That could be a third part. Pay attention to red flags. Hmm. I still feel like I don't want you to throw red flags out the window. Don't do that. I want you to pay attention to red flags because there are certain things that still, obviously, you know, you always want to keep a healthy eye on but not be obsessive or anything like that. But pay attention to red flags. And I think for some of you guys who are reconnecting, that's definitely a thing. There are some things that you are going to have to let go of. Oh, my. Let go of control issues. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, also, forgiving and learning for new couples. I do forgive. And I want to move on from my past, but because of what I've gone through, I'm still going to pay attention to red flags, even in this new relationship. Now, let go of control issues. This reconciliation for some of you married couples. Let go of control issues. Uh, control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Religious factors. Mm -hmm. Your love life is influenced by religious upbringing and spiritual path. Okay. All right. So... That's what I have for you guys. Uh, and I think there's messages for both new, new, and maybe new marriage or something. Existing couple, but newly, newly, newly married. I don't know. About to get married. I don't know. I mean, he looks scared and she's like, I wish you would. I don't know. It's like weird. Okay. <laughs> Give me a card for Scorpio, please. Give me a card. Uh, give me a card for Scorpio, please. Card for Scorpio. Travel, long distance communication would open up your life. Exciting experiences for singles and career advancement for others. Mm hmm. Okay, Scorpio. Some of you guys are, I guess, traveling and getting jobs and things. Let's see. Wisdom. Mm hmm. Why is this reversed, Leo? Why is this reversed? To focus on the past is to lose your future. Heed advice from older from an older person which will allow you to move on. Some things you need to let go of. I feel like for some of you guys, you were the person, you're the recipient of being uh, stepped out on or cheated on, whatever. All right. And now when this new relationship, I think you going in and you're like, I want to put this behind me, but I want somebody I can talk about these feelings with. You know, I want somebody who's grounded. I want this to be a trusting relationship. And I feel like for some of you guys that are married together or whatever, where the cheating was done right here in this connection, and some meaning somebody else entered the the connection who is not a Scorpio or a Leo. Ooh, that was all But this is, it seems like his heir. Okay, so that's all I have for you guys. I do, Let me take a look at something really quick, though, all right, before I do that. Tell me more about this third party. The love. Tell me about the lovers. What happened here? What happened here? Help me understand what happened here. Oh. A love call. Someone expresses love. A message of love thinking of you and letting you know. Oh. Under the lovers. Okay. It was a love call. This third party. Okay. And this person reached. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. I'm not going to pull that because two of them came out. Hold on. A love call. That's interesting. Oh. It was so someone expresses love thinking of you soulmates soul connection partnership agreement that's very interesting because these cards say you're gonna run into your soulmate a love call a soul contract not today not dealing with hurt avoiding conversation call person boundaries i'm still angry mm. many options decision unconventional string along okay Give me, give me one minute. All right. 
the sword and rose clarity truth revelation solidarity force honor protection power okay Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh, okay, so I said what happened with the third party here, and I'm not necessarily clear on it, but I believe there was some kind of phone call or communication from somebody that may be from the past, somebody where they have a soul connection, right? So even if this is somebody from today or somebody from the past, it was somebody that Leo had a soul connection with. Leo is still a little upset and not really dealing with them. I don't want to deal with this hurt. Stay away from me. I don't want to deal with you. All right. Key, uh, this is how you made me feel. You make keys on a ring. All right. And then now I have some clarity on the situation. I have revelations about it. All right. So I feel like this is something that um, Leo is coming out of. And this is what, you know, this is what they're trying to put behind them. These are the conversations that they're going to have about their feelings, what happened to them. There's going to be honesty. Everybody's like vulnerable. It's a new journey. All right, and I feel like for couples that are getting back together, it's a new journey. All right, that's all I have for you guys. This one was oof, weird. All right, guys, that's all I have for you. Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Please. I know that was weak. Mm, mm, mm. Do I have another card? Yeah, I guess I did wisdom and stuff. But I don't know. Let me see. Hold on, let's see. Give me a card for this couple, please. Give me a card for Leo and Scorpio. Leo and Scorpio. Scorpio and Leo. Well, whatever. Okay. Give me a card for... Ooh, okay. Practice, practice, practice. With daily practice, you can polish your skills and talents and increase your confidence. Hmm, okay. I guess that's good for both you guys. A dietary change. Why do I keep getting this? Will improve your diet and your life will also improve. Okay, some of you guys are really focused on changing your diet. And that's that's common energy, I guess, for both of you guys. So, okay. That's all I have for you guys. Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Please. Okay, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.